Hi everyone, Talia from Zart Art, and today I'm going to show you how to create a sunset painting. So for this project, what I'm going to do is start off with my background, which is just going to be a few different colours blended together to create that sunset effect. So I'm going to be using a yellow, a red and a blue to create that sunset background. And then from there, I'm going to create a really simple paper stencil to layer images over the top of that sunset. So to begin, I'm going to start off with my lightest colour, which is my warm yellow. What I'm going to do is just apply the paints in layers. So my yellow, then my red, then my blue. And when I blend those together, we're going to create our secondary colours. Now I'm just going to start from the bottom and apply my paint. So I've just got a really nice acrylic paint. This one's Chromacryl, so it's got a good thickness to it and a nice coverage. And underneath my piece of paper, I've just got another piece of paper to protect the table so we don't get paint everywhere. And the paper that I'm working on is about 200 GSM, so it's nice and thick, which means it won't buckle while we're painting over the top of it. Okay, so now we've got our first layer of our lightest colour. I'm going to move on to our next dark colour, which is the red. And I'm just going to paint a layer over the top of that. And then in the middle, we'll blend the two colours together, which will create a nice orange. So now we have got our two layers of each colour and just in the middle of these layers I'm going to blend the two together to create an orange so instead of having a block of yellow and a block of red we're going to try and blend those together so it's a bit of a nicer gradient. So as you can see, I've mixed my yellow and my red together, which has created a nice gradient instead of those two blocks of colours. Now I'm going to move on to my blue, and that's going to be a bit darker because we're going to mix our red and our blue together to create a purple. So I've just left a little section here that I'm going to create in that darker purple. So now I've created my background sunset layer and we've got a nice gradient going from the yellow to the blue with those secondary colours in between all of our primaries. So I'm just going to leave that to the side to dry a little bit. And now what we're going to do is work on our little paper stencil. So we're going to create this as kind of an African sunset. So I'm going to choose an African animal and I'm going to draw that onto my paper. So when I draw this on my paper, it's just going to be a silhouette shape and I'm going to make sure that one part of my shape is easy enough to cut into the paper and then cut all the way around in one cut. So what I'm doing essentially is making it so my paper will represent that silhouette animal once it's cut out. So the animal I'm going to choose is an elephant and just with grey lead pencil I'm going to draw that on my paper just right at the edge.
So I've got my drawing of my elephant and in one cut, I'm going to try and cut around that whole shape. So I'm going to start at this edge of the foot right here and I'm going to end at the same edge. So we only have one cut moving into the paper. As you can see, I've got my little silhouette of the elephant here. And if you are struggling with these shapes, you can do simpler forms or even just paint directly onto your landscape painting instead. But this is a nice little process to introduce students to what a stencil would be like and just using paint to create that stencil. So just give your painting a little bit of a touch. Mine's dried pretty quickly, so I can just directly place my stencil over the top without having to worry about anything sticking and just line it up how you want to place it. And now what I'm going to do with a sponge and with some black acrylic paint, I'm going to apply the paint onto the sponge and stamp over it. The reason why I'm doing this instead of using a brush is because the foam sponge will give it a really nice even texture to the paint. I'm just applying the paint onto my sponge, so you might want to add a little bit of water, especially if the acrylic paint you're using is quite thick. So just apply that on there. And then you'll get a bit of a feel for how much paint or water you'll need by your first stamps. So just make sure that you're pressing down your paper so the paint doesn't go underneath your stencil and just keep dabbing and reapplying paint when you need to. So now I've applied my black paint over the stencil, so just be careful when you're taking it off. So now, once you've applied your stencil, if you notice there's any parts that aren't completely filled in, you can just go over them with a paintbrush to fix up any sections. So it might be better if you let it dry for a bit and then go over it. But what I'm going to do now is add a little bit more to my landscape because now it's just a black elephant floating in some color. So I'm going to create a little bit of landscape. So just some grassy areas and maybe a tree or a bush to really make it look like the elephant is standing in a landscape. Here we have our elephant with our little background. So you can do any kind of scene. It's just more about blending those sunset colors into each other to start off your background and then using that really simple paper stencil to add in those silhouette shapes. But otherwise that's all for the project. So think of different ways that you could go about it, whether you want to relate it to different sceneries or even to native Australian bushland, that could be a really great idea. But there's lots of different things that you can do with this project. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Mask on.